What's up everyone, this is Chris from Canada's Fish Keeping and today we're going to go over the species profile of the uh, silver dollar fish. Um, if you guys aren't already subscribed to this channel, please subscribe and hit that like button and also uh, click that bell for the uh, notifications. Okay, so today we're going to go over one of the most popular fish in the hobby, which is the silver dollar. It's actually many types of silver dollars. I have the red hook silver dollar. I have, I do believe they call it the, uh, what is it, tiger silver dollar, which is this one right here with the, the one, one bar. And then I have, what is it, the uh, spotted silver dollar, which is, where did we go? Up over, over here. He's a smaller one of them. But uh, silver dollars are really common in the hobby. Um, you get many different kinds. Like, I've never had the red hooks or any of these guys. I normally have like the uh, the normal ones. I don't know what the, the normal ones are called, but they're just, you know, silver ones. Um, so, what can I say about silver dollars? They're a very hardy fish. They're uh, actually closely related to the Paku and the Piranha. Um, they actually are all throughout South America in uh, like the rivers that mostly have like uh, long vegetation because they, they pretty much will eat any plants. Um, so they also have a lifespan of 10 years. The, they can get to about five, uh, sorry, six inches. Uh, I've seen them bigger. I've actually had some that was probably a bit bigger than that. So I'd say probably six to eight tops for a silver dollar. Um, tank size. I I seen a minimum tank size when I was doing some research about these guys. They say 30 gallons, but I would I would probably put a bunch of silver dollars because of schooling fish in a 30 gallon. I would probably do about 75 gallon. I could probably get away with 55 because I've only got three, but again, they need more. They need a lot of them to swim. The, the big swimmers, they like to swim, and they get spooked really easy. So bigger tank, better, 75, probably is the best bet for them. Um, water parameters and uh, will be the temperature is 75 to 82. The uh, pH level is five to seven. They are on the boys, but uh, the funny fact about them, they spend most of the time eating plant matter, plant vegetation, all that stuff. They, they like the, the plants. Like uh, algae wafers is a big one out in the wild, like stuff like seaweed and um, all those other plants. I don't know all the plants out there. I'm not doing the plants. Um, the aggressive level, they're not aggressive. Totally not aggressive at all. Tank mates, wide variety of tank mates. You can put them in with cichlids, you can put them in with South American cichlids. I've even seen people have them in with stuff like, um, where are they, red tears. I think if uh, you follow the cichlid dojo, I do believe his breeding pair of uh, red tear have silver dollars in it. Uh, as you can see, I got Oscars with mine, Jack Dempsey's, Texas. They're just really a, a good dither fish. That's why I use a boy's dither fish. They, they can pretty much outswim any of them. The Oscars aren't going to touch them. The other fish aren't going to really be able to touch them because they're so fast. Um, That's pretty much it for the silver dollar. Like, they're so common. You can pick these guys up for like dirt cheap in the pet store. Um, I would probably do no less than five. I might get a couple more for in here just because they are schooling fish. But yeah, that's about it for uh, for this. Hopefully you guys enjoy it and please subscribe and hit that like button.